So, take two. As I just recorded this video, but realized I didn't record the screen right at the end. So, what I'm gonna do in today's video is show you how to store your Cardano on your ledger. So, this has recently been released for Ledger, and it's a common question I've been getting in the last week or two, I suppose in the last week. And there's two options for this. So the main two wallets that you can do it on is Emergo's official Yuri wallet or the Ada Light wallet. So what I'm gonna do in this, I'm gonna show you both wallets because basically these are just gateways into the blockchain that allows you to access whatever coins are associated with your Ledger Nano S. So it's the Ledger Nano S stores the private keys and the two wallets I'm gonna show you then are just the gateways to allow you to access your funds. So first thing you have to do is install the Cardano app onto your Ledger. So in this case, I use the Ledger Live. So if you're not familiar with this, there's probably lots of videos out there on Ledger Live and I may do one if people need that as well. But on the Ledger Live, you go in and search for ADA or Cardano, install the app, and then you will see it's already on my app here. So I hope that comes up clearly. So once it's installed, you then go over to the wallets. So there's the Ada Lite wallet, and then you have the Yori wallet. So the Ada Lite one is a website. It is very similar to my Ether wallet or my crypto for Ethereum. And then Yuri is actually a, plug or a Chrome app that you install on your browser and then that lets you access the funds that way. So we'll install the Chrome app here. Add to Chrome, add extension. Then it'll give a pop-up up here to say it's installed. There we go. So click to go to the extension. So what you do on the Yuri, we'll do this first. So click continue, read all the terms and conditions, terms of use, as you always do with these things. Continue, and then you have the options to connect with your ledger, your Trezor, create a new wallet. So that will be just a standard wallet that does not use a hardware wallet. You would probably have a seed phrase. I haven't tested that actually. So we'll connect with the ledger. Next, and connect. So this is the part here that you might just get confused on. So it looks like it's just spinning in a loop on the screen, but what it doesn't tell you there is you need to go into the Cardano app on your device. So go into it and then it will ask you to export the public key. And then it should be to confirm export of public key and yes, so now you can see the screen has moved on. So Yuri Ledger, we'll just call it that. It doesn't matter what we call the wallet as this is just a test one for me. You can see there's a few transactions on this already because I did record the video already and it I didn't record my screen. But um, you can see the transactions are here. And if I go into the Ada Lite, so I go in, unlock you with Ledger. And again, I forgot myself, so I have the export again, export the private key, so we'll do that, and then I should have to confirm the transaction, and then it brings me into the wallet. So again, you can see the exact same thing, all the same transactions, because it's using the same private keys from your ledger. So that's really it on how to get access to it. Fairly standard wallet in your sending and receiving, just when you're sending from some of the wallets that use the ledger, you will have to confirm every transaction on the ledger. So I actually have in another browser here. You can see I'm in the Chrome browser here. Let's minimize this a bit. So this is another Cardano wallet. So again, I was using the Ada Lite website and I opened up just a standard wallet with that. So I log in using the mnemonic phrase or mnemonic phase phrase, doesn't matter. It's not using the ledger device. So what I'm gonna do is just to show you how, when you're sending funds through a wallet that's using the ledger, how you have to confirm it on the ledger and how you do that. So I'll copy the address here, move this aside, and then I will send it through this version here. 
So if I go into send ADA, paste in the address, I want to send, would send three Cardano, and it works out the fee for you, and then send ADA, and I want to confirm the transaction. So now it's telling me it's waiting for the ledger, and then I get this start transaction on the ledger. So next, then I want to send. So you click the two buttons on top. Next, it's giving the address. So again, I confirm the address. Actually, you should always double check the address. I didn't there because it's such a small amount anyway. The fee, confirm the fee, and then confirm transaction, yes. So that's it, so it's sending, so now it's submitting the transaction and you will see it go through now in a minute. Just takes a few seconds for it to get sent and then you will see it in the other wallet. So the difference is, is when you're sending it from, if I was sending this from the Ada Light wallet that doesn't have, that isn't connected to the ledger, then you can just send it straight without having to verify it on your hardware wallet. So you can see it's sent there and if I bring back in the other wallet here and I refresh the balance, I can see this wallet has received the three Cardano. And actually just to finish it off on sending, you can see the Ori is synced up as well because this is synced up to the same private keys as this wallet. If I come in here and I go send, just to show you how to do it from the Yori as well, so I'm going to put in, I'm gonna send three again, click next, send using ledger, and then it's gonna give me the exact same prompt. So it's gonna be send, start the transaction, send the Cardano, I presume the fee, and then, oh no, there's the fee, double click. Oh, sorry, the one before that was confirm the address, which again, I skipped, and then confirm transaction, and that's it. So then that sends the transaction as well. So very similar, whichever wallet you are sending from. So I hope this video has helped you. I will put timestamps down below for people that they can skip back to any of the steps. As well as that, I'll put a link to, the, to get a ledger for yourself if you don't have one. I'll put that down below. It will be to the official ledger site and it will be an affiliate link to be totally transparent. I will get a small commission if you buy a ledger through that link. Anything I've missed in this video, let me know in the comments down below and I will do a follow-up video if it's needed to explain any of the points. So thanks for watching guys, give the video a like, subscribe to the channel and don't forget to share if you feel this can be of value to someone else. I will talk to you guys soon. Thanks for watching.